Hello! Today I just wanted to show everyone what I did for Christmas in my Minecraft world. First of all, this is my house. Um, I guess I'll give you a brief tour around the base, but I made a giant Christmas tree. I've never done anything like this before. And honestly, it only took about 15 minutes, but um, I made a giant Christmas tree out of spruce. Put some lights on it, a star up at the top and uh, gifts underneath, and even some snowmen. Um, a little snow all around as well. Um, I think it's pretty cool. The gifts are made out of wool, different colored wool, and then just harvested some spruce trees and spruce leaves, um, some spruce fence posts for the um, soul lanterns. And then glowstone for the um, for the star at the top. So uh, all of this is in survival as well. Um, so this is my base. Um, first of all, there's a lighthouse there at the end. Uh, there's a peninsula that juts out into the, the ocean that most of the world that we're uh, playing on is centered around. Uh, I'll take you to the top. So it's made entirely out of prismarine, which, let me tell you, it took a long time and nearly an entire ocean temple to get this much prismarine. And then the stairs made out of smooth quartz also took a while to get that amount of smooth quartz. But here we are. We have a nice view of coral, coral reef uh, off to the, to the west here, and the sun sets in this direction as well. Uh, off to the south, uh, more ocean, then off to the east is my base. So that's my house, and then that's my villager trading hall back in the distance there, and then the barn to the left. Um, and then there's the Christmas tree. It looks so pretty right next to the house there. Um, I, I do have these train tracks that go off in uh, all directions, really, uh, to other locations. Off to the north is another coral reef. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's the lighthouse. Um, I tend to just drop into this pool on the way down. So much faster. Oh, that's the wrong direction. My house isn't all that interesting, to be honest. Um, but, you know, it gets the job done. Oh, by the way, I made fireworks by the lighthouse. I did the same over here for the Christmas tree. I totally forgot about that. This one, red and green fireworks. Where'd it go? It didn't go off. That was a dud. There you go. Red and green fireworks. There we go. Okay. Anyways, into the house we go. Apparently, since it's Christmas, Minecraft did this thing where all the chests are green presents and red if it's a single chest. Um, oh yeah, the top of that lighthouse is made out of emerald, by the way. And then that rotating light is, uh, I think it's pretty cool. Um, so inside the, light, the house, uh, didn't do a whole lot. Uh, second floor is actually completely empty. Um, I found that I don't actually need this much space, so I'll keep that in mind next build. Um, and this is, again, more fireworks that get triggered as you walk in or out here by this tripwire thing here. Alright. Off to the south, also more fireworks. Um, you see my farms and the villager trading hall. And then behind the Villager Trading Hall, I have what I've called the Forests of the World, which is where um, I have all the different types of trees growing, so I can have all the different types of wood at any point in time. Uh, that snowman's just chilling over there. Hi. What you doing? Huh? Anyways. Enough playing around.
Um, so this is actually lit up from below with sea land. Uh, I'm sorry, sea cucumbers. So I thought that was a pretty cool design here. Uh, and my my farms, um, I don't really use them very often anymore because I have everything that I need in my villager trading hall. Um, so the villager trading hall you'll see is um, I've got 40 villagers in there. Um, and it's also a working iron farm. So I combined multiple concepts here into one more compact design. And let me tell you, when you have this many villagers of all types, literally every single type of villager, uh, you don't actually need to go mining. So on the sides here, I have, uh, see, here's the iron golems dro dropping to their deaths. Poor guys. It hurts, don't it? Well, they're going to die. Give me their iron. And some poppies. Uh, that zombie's just chilling up there. I actually didn't even need the zombie up there for it, this to work. Um, but the zombie does make it go a lot faster. Otherwise, the iron golems do spawn. They just are roaming around here. They kind of get in your way. I would always come in and just nudge them into the water and say goodbye. But uh, now they jump into the water by themselves because they go after this zombie. But anyways, on either side here, I have farmer villagers where I sell my various crops to and get, gather the emeralds um, on the other side uh, as well. Uh, you can see I've got all these different types of uh, food items here to be sold as well as on the other side. So on the ground floor is, thing, generally speaking, things that I will sell to the villagers. So the cleric, I will sell rotten flesh. Um, I don't sell gold. I kind of need gold. I could sell nether wart if, um, if I developed a farm big enough to do that. Um, cartographer, I actually do buy maps from him. Um, but the, uh, leather worker, yeah, I just sell leather to him. But the armorer, I actually, you can get every type of diamond armor just from the armorer. I didn't realize that. Just one armorer can sell you all of those types. They're actually, they already come pre-enchanted, although I disenchanted and then enchanted again. I'll, I'll go underneath underground here. Um, you'll see I do have a fair amount of iron, as well as some, uh, oh, some other stuff as well. Apparently has been collecting uh, for a while now from occasional skeletons and spiders, zombies, creepers will come into the, the moat on the outside, but um, this is actually the way that I got my baby villagers. So I started with two villagers and bred them up and then um, the babies would walk over here onto this trap door and then fall into that water stream. And then the water stream would take them down here and they couldn't get back so they would just find the empty slot that I had made for them. Um, anyways, Top floor are all librarians. They're all going to sleep now because it's getting to be dark. Um, which I could sleep this away, but I kind of want to see what the Christmas tree looks like at nighttime. Um, so, yeah, like I said, anything, any monsters that come by, they will fall into the water, as would any iron golems that happen to spawn out here. Although, for the most part, I have made it so that iron golems won't spawn out here. Occasionally, I see some spawning, and then they fall into the water and go down to their deaths. But, oh, the Christmas tree looks so nice lit up at night. And the star at the top. Let's see if I can get a better view from over here. It looks so pretty. All right, enough of that. We'll take a nap. Get rid of this darkness. Oh, there is, see, there's a, oh, and a zombie. Hello, sir. You can just stay out here. Uh, anyways, I was showing you the bottom floor here that I've got um, butchers that, sell, that I can sell meat to, fletchers that I can sell sticks, string, and feathers. Pretty much everything in Minecraft that you end up getting way too much of you can sell to villagers for emeralds. Um, stone, diorite, granite. Uh, the other side, uh, the stone um, 
Mason over there sells uh, or buys andesite. So anything you need there. Um, this guy buys cod and salmon, wool, and then my toolsmith will sell me shovels and picks, um, even a diamond hoe. And then the weapon guy will sell me a sword and an axe. So I realized after making this that I don't actually ever need to go diamond mining. I could just buy from the villagers. But mainly what I bought this for, what, or built this for, was for all the different librarians. So each one is in their little cubby hole. They have a, a window so they can talk to the neighbor. Don't want to be too cruel, you know. But, uh, yeah, so I've got all the different enchants that I would ever want. So if I would like to get some power five for my bow. Uh, oh, hey kitty. Hmm, that kitty's going to be stuck in there. Oh well. Um, th then I would just grab it from him. This guy sells Unbreaking 3. It's actually kind of expensive, but it's whatever. I've got plenty of emeralds. I made the top of my lighthouse out of emeralds. Uh, and then Mending over here. Uh, 14 is a pretty good price on that. Um, all the protection that I ever want here. Um, and then for my boots and for my helmet. You can put the little signs up to let you know which item um, that each of these enchants is for in general. Um, and then any iron golems that spawn up here just walk right off the edge of the balcony into the water and eventually to their deaths. Um, I guess I will go around and show the forests of the world. Oh, where's that zombie? Oh, it's inside actually. Okay. So, this is the Forest of the World Trail. So, we start out in a birch forest. Even have some bees. Hello, bees. Um, and then, as you keep walking down this trail, you eventually head into an oak forest. Uh, some bigger oak trees, but mostly of the moderate variety. Then you keep walking, and now you're in the jungle. Lots of jungle trees, even some big jungle trees and bamboo. Um, on the outer trail here is actually this lava pit was um, natural to my world here. So I just fenced it off so people won't run right into it. That's dangerous, you know. And then I put some nether forests on the other side. Uh, so these are your warped uh, trees, the blue trees, and then the crimson trees, uh, and then acacia, uh, plenty of acacia here, and then, um, oh, and this I have called, uh, the lake of fire, a little place for you to sit, you know, just enjoy the view as you watch the lake burn, um, then another lake here, uh, I call it puffer pond. I dropped a whole bunch of puffer fish in there. I'm not sure why I did this, to be honest. <laughs> but it is what it is. Up on top of the hill, there were actually already some spruce trees up here, so I just made this the spruce part of the forest. Um, the upper parts actually have snow on it because there's starting to be a mountain biome over there. Uh, and then down here is the dark oak. So all the dark oak I could ever want. And that was the forest of the world. Now this is the barn that I use. Um, so here's all my cows, sheep, um, sheep are over here, pigs and chickens. So some of these, uh, this one I have all hoppers underneath there. So the hoppers, whenever I go kill some cows. Sorry guys, this is for the videos. So, um, kill some cows, then the beef and leather will all just slide right in through the hoppers into the chest. And then this one, um, actually, because the sheep need grass to munch on in order to get their wool, I had to use a um, hopper mine cart to wiggle around under there and bring it in and then drop it into the chest. Um, pigs are just like the cows, although I found that the pigs, when I breed them, they like to, their babies like to um, 
hang out near the edge and then when they grow up they spawn on the outside of the fence and then I just killed them so that kind of that was kind of broken but the chickens also um, I have the hopper minecart um, rolling by to grab all the eggs especially um, so every now and then I'll come by and just you know break a few eggs get a few more chickens Sorry guys, oh, that one just spawned in the wall. He didn't like that, he died. Uh, and so at the top of these ladders is where I would go to cook my meat. Um, I've got four campfires here so I can cook 16 at a time. Um, I like campfires because you don't have to replace the coal. Um, it just constantly burns. Um, and then uh, when you're doing four at a time it actually goes pretty quickly, even faster than a smoker for sure. Um, here's my horses and donkeys, um, not gonna lie, I've never, yeah, <laughs> Chris's ass, yep, yep, that's mine, <laughs> um, anyways, I don't really use these very often, I find that when I'm out exploring, um, it tends to be tough to walk around on donkeys or horses, unless you're out in the plains, and let's just be real, when you're out exploring, you're not going to be in the plains very long. You end up walking through forests, and then donkeys and horses just get lost. Um, got some cocoa here, just in case I ever need it. I don't know why you'd ever need it, but there it is. Christmas tree. Hello, snowman. What you up to? Y'all tied up? Yeah. Anyways. Um, underneath my base, oh, actually, uh, I will show the map room before I get too far. So, um, on the servers I've been on so far, I have made a map room, which is a way for me to get a feel for what the world looks like. So, each one of these map tiles is, um, I call it zoom level three because you zoom out a few, uh, twice. So it's the third level of zoom. Um, and then I patch them all together into one big map on the ground here. So you can literally just walk over the map. Um, so that's where my base is right here. Um, right on this peninsula is where the lighthouse is. And then that green dot is where the map room itself is. Um, and then uh, eh, there's, there's the ocean temple that I took most of the prismarine from but there's another one here and another one here I have so many ocean temples in this ocean um, then uh, my friend Morganja is down here he's developed his base down here in the savannah um, and then Pup Wolfie has uh, built his base in this mountain biome while also on a peninsula right across the bay from um, from my lighthouse uh, I haven't put his name tag on there yet but I will soon um, and I also have trains, working trains, that connect all of our bases. I just finished the one over to Wolfie, uh, who just started playing a few weeks ago. Um, but I also have one that goes all the way down to this village, which we're calling Morgoon. Uh, and then all the way down under the ocean to Morganja 420. So, yes, that's his real name, Morganja 420. Um... Yeah, so I think this this was a pretty nice world. It's got a nice big ocean with all the different biomes on it. Even the Badlands way up here. I'm actually working on a train to get us up to the Badlands so we can mine some gold. Um, and then the end is actually over here. So I'm also working on a train to get us to the end. Um, there's also a pretty cool village right here. I don't know if you can see it right here. Right on the edge of the plains and the ice spikes biome. That's a pretty cool village, not going to lie. Um, anyways, off we go back out into the world. And my poor snowmen are dead because it's raining. Um, but that is my world uh, and my base. Uh, this is the train station. So just click the button and you pop out a uh, minecart to head to uh, Morgoon and then towards Morganja. Um, down here, oops, let me close that door just in case something walks in. It is night after all. Down here is where I keep all my, uh, mine, uh, mining, um, supplies, um, and enchantment room, 
potion stand, and um, oh yeah, everybody needs a trash, a lava trash, you know, all the things that you no longer need or don't want and you can't sell to villagers, then you just toss it in the lava and it's gone. Um, down here would be my mines, I actually did mine for diamonds before I realized that I didn't even need to. My next server, I think I'm not even going to mine for diamonds. Down here, I've got sugar sugarcane farm, bamboo farm, and some um, honey and honeycomb for the bees. Um, then on the other side, I don't really need it yet, although I have used it for the um, for the um, fireworks that I made. Um, down here is a creeper farm. So turn that creeper farm off, and way up here, um, creepers spawn, and then actually you can see in the chest, got a lot of gunpowder. Um, creepers spawn in this area up here. Um, obviously when I flip that switch, it turns the lights off, and then they spawn. And then they run away from the cats, fall into the water, and then down and hit the lava and die. Those cats are noisy. So that just turns the lights off. So it gets dark back there again. Uh, then, of course, the nether. Um, got a uh, nether portal here, which it's really weird, but my... Um, oh, my bad. I actually, um, actually moved that nether portal, but my nether portal spawned in a bastion remnant. I've never done that before, but... Anyway, that was my world, uh, and just wanted to show you the Christmas editions that I did.